It has a rich low range and is easy to hear, suitable for adults and has something a little different. Harman Kardon HK 6900 185,000 yen It says on the rear panel that it was designed in America and assembled in Japan. The high-end model among the four models in the 6000 series. Actual weight, 17.3 kilograms. The bonnet weighs 1930 g. Although it has not been dumped, it is firmly attached with 10 screws and is strong enough. The bottom plate is durable and doesn't make any noise when you hit it. The legs are 20 g made of a combination of aluminum press and mold. The AC cord is a 1.25 square mm cab tire round cord. The pin jack on the rear panel is not gold plated, but it seems to be of good quality. What is unusual is that there is a 4 ohms and 8 ohm selector switch to best match the amplifier's operation to the speaker impedance. When it is 4 ohms, the power supply voltage is lowered and the current is increased. In the past, some Japanese amplifiers had this switch, so I looked at it nostalgically. The power transformer is toroidal, and the case size is large at 5135x 100mm. There are four filter capacitors of 85V 10,000 μF 540 80 mm The heat sink has a 7mm thick base with approximately 14 fins radiating out. The fins are also solid with a thickness of 5 to 3 mm. The board is also firmly attached. SP switching uses a rotary switch instead of a relay switch. I was a little concerned that there was a board in the path from the switch to the terminal. There are three basic Harman Kardon amplifiers, HVHC, HICC, and SLPC. The HVHC is a 4 ohms per 8 ohm selector switch, but whereas previously the voltage was switched on the secondary side of the transformer, this time the voltage is switched on the primary side, which reduces distortion. Leakage is also reduced in the 4 ohms position. HICC responds to phase changes and impedance changes, and has particularly large instantaneous drive capability. SLPC is a power stage circuit. This unit has a pre-out no main in, but the residual noise of the pre-out is extremely low as shown in the photo. The residual noise of the main amplifier is different between normal and main direct volume and amplifier are directly connected and the intermediate amplifier is turned off, so the gain is significantly reduced, but it is slightly higher. This is because the amount of NF in the main amplifier is reduced in order to prioritize sound quality. In normal mode, the sound is rich in low frequencies and is gentle and pleasant to the ear. It's not the type that cuts into it vividly. There is some sharpness and clarity in the main direct, but the basic character remains the same. This amp has something different for both classical music and adults.